In this next section, you'll want to take a minute and print out the review sheet on exponents, and it's just on some properties, how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide using um, properties of exponents. So take a few minutes, print that out, look through. Uh, there's, I think, three pages. This is going to be the second page. And then the third page. Uh, print these out, look over them, and take a few minutes. That's just review before you go into our video notes with section 5.1. On this first part of our video notes, you want to get familiar with the terminology for term, for coefficient, constant, and for polynomial. For example, these are some polynomials listed here. These are not polynomials, and this is not polynomials because of that negative exponent, variables in the denominator. That's the reason why these two expressions are not polynomials. Next, we look, as we look down, we have monomials, binomials, and trinomials. These are all polynomials with special names. Mono means one, so it's one term, one term. A constant is also considered one term. Bi means two, two terms. A binomial, they're separated by an addition or a subtraction sign. So therefore, we have um, binomials, and trinomials have three terms, one, two, three. And there's three terms here, one, two, three, one, two, three. So mono, bi, and tri are just special names for polynomials. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the degree of a polynomial. It is going to be the largest sum of exponents contained in one term. So when we look at this one, the degree is going to be three. The degree of the first one, x equals 3. This next one, we look at the exponent of the variable, and it's going to be 4. Okay, there's a known 1 here. There's a known 1, so the degree of this one is 1. This is all one term. This one has a known 1, a 2, and a 4, so the sum of all of them is 4 plus 2 is 6, plus the known 1 is 7. This constant has no variable, so it's degree 0. Okay, this one is a trinomial. It's three terms. The degree of this one is 5, this one is 3, and this one is 0. So we use the largest of those, which was 5. The next term, there's a known 1 here, and there's a known 1 here. So when we add them all together, we get 1 plus 2 plus 1. The degree is going to be 4. This one has two terms. The degree of this term is 3. The degree of this one is going to be 2. You use the larger of these two and the overall degree of the polynomial is 3. Adding polynomials just like adding like terms, an AB term to an AB term, so I say negative 6 plus 12 is positive 6, keep the AB. A term, A term, there's a known one there, so that's 2 minus 1 is just 1A. So we get 6A, B plus A. In the next example, we have a Y cubed and a Y cubed, so 10 plus a known one is 11 Y cubed. Then we have a, a Y squared and a Y squared, so I say negative 1 and a negative 4 is a negative 5y squared. A 4y plus 3y is 7y. And then we have minus 11. There's no other like terms to add, so that's simplified. And now we're going to look at subtracting the polynomials. The first and most important thing when we subtract is to distribute our negative and rewrite it. So this is minus 9x to the fourth minus x squared plus 18. So now we're going to add like terms. We have x to the fourth term, x to the fourth, so I say 7 minus 9 is going to be negative 2x to the fourth. I have a negative 8 and a negative 1. Add those together to get negative 9x squared. x term, it's the only one. 
and then constant term. This is going to be our solution. In the next example, don't forget to distribute your negative. Negative 6y to the 4th minus 7x to the 3rd. Negative times a negative is a positive 3y. Now we're going to add like terms. A y to the 4th. y to the 4th. So I say 2 minus 6 is negative 4. y to the 4th. Um, minus 7x to the 3rd. That's the only x cubed term. Now I have a 3y and a 4y that I need to add together to get 7y. And that looks like all of them. Add like terms and you're finished.